Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So today I'm going to present another video on why Cauchy was a bit of an idiot. Yes, I'm talking about Augustine Cauchy. So I discussed this in a six part series and there's something I wanted to highlight and that's the goal of this video. So let's begin. Now, in this series here, where I have the six part series, uh, first of all, I want to point out how many morons there are out there. So this one had 817 views, okay? And 27 <laughs> hit the dislike button. So only less than half actually realized that the content is correct. So I suspect that these 27 are those idiots called math, uh, mainstream mathematics professors and teachers, because certainly anyone with a brain wouldn't hit the dislike button here. So, so what is the whole crux of this uh, video? Simply this. In my six-part series, um, I dealt with what Cauchy said in his definition. And this is what he said, okay. And I'm going to go straight to the applet. So, in Cauchy's definition, let's just put this aside, he said that if the function y equals to f of x is always continuous. So, and by the way, my main point here is that you cannot just have a continuous function. It needs to be smooth. Otherwise, this ratio of differences that you see here, which Cauchy used, is a load of rubbish. Okay, and why is it a load of rubbish? Well, let's see why. So I showed this image, I think it was either in the second or third part, and the majority of morons didn't even realize what the consequence of this is. Well, the consequence is that the BS that you find on Wikipedia, where it talks about the fundamental theorem only requiring to be continuous, is evidently just a load of crap, isn't it? So let's see why. Right, let's see why. Well, if you start off here and you have, and you're approaching the finite difference from this side, look what happens. First of all, you have a positive, then a negative. <laughs> uh, I mean, then a, you have a negative. I'm sorry, that should be a negative slope, not positive slope. Then a positive slope, then a negative, and finally a positive slope again. Now, the problem is that these lines here are not secant lines. Do you understand that? So because they're not secant lines, you cannot use the garbage that you find over here from Cauchy, okay, which is this finite difference quotient. It needs to be smooth in order for it to be a secant line. Otherwise, it's not a secant line. None of these lines here, none of these lines, except maybe this one might be considered a secant line. So it needs to be smooth, okay? What does that mean? That means you need a function like this, you morons. Pay attention, okay? You need something like that. Otherwise, a finite difference to, let's say, this point here to any other point is senseless, okay? It's not a secant line, so it has to be continuous. And that was the crux of me talking about this image and showing why Cauchy's definition was just really a bird brain definition that, by the way, is still believed by the idiotic buffoons of mainstream mathematics academia. And that is what I wanted to show you in this video. So first of all, the methods of calculus are null and void. And you cannot even talk about functions like uh, x times sine of 1 over x evaluated or taking the limit because that function there looks something like this, whatever. And we don't really care uh, about a derivative here. Why don't we care about a, der a derivative there? Because it's not smooth, okay? so. If you examine that function, it ends up looking like this. So you see, the, these buffoons or prize apes of mainstream 
mathematics academia will introduce cases where they think they've found a counterexample. But what they've really done is they've been fingering their rear ends with their with both their thumbs. And then they're smelling it and imagining that they've discovered something really incredible. But they're stupid. They're typically Marcus Clivers or Professor Gilbert Strangs or Professor Jack Hazingers or Jean-Pierre Massages or any of those idiots on Psy.math or Reddit or Quora or anywhere else who, or, or even on Wikipedia who don't understand calculus. Okay. And the whole point is that the methods of calculus pay attention now, morons. And I'm talking to math professors and teachers. You cannot use calculus. You cannot uh, talk about piecewise functions, you ignorant idiots. Because if you're talking about the fundamental theorem of calculus, it's not talking about a piecewise function. Morons. It's talking about one rule. Okay. It's one rule. So um, pay attention to what I'm about to tell you. The methods of calculus are now and void unless a function is smooth and you're dealing with one function at a time. So you can't say, oh yeah, let me define this funny function here at zero. If X is equal to zero, I'll just say that the function is zero and anywhere else it's this rule here, okay? Those are two rules, idiots. Do you understand that? Piecewise functions are another invention by my moronic mainstream enemies to buttress their bullshit calculus. If you're not a subscriber, become one, okay? Click like on my channel because these idiots will just carry on downvoting my videos, okay? And you, you want these videos to be seen by everyone, especially your children and your children's children. I mean, do you want to produce uh, another generation of idiots as you've had the past four or five generations? I don't think you want that. Okay. And then finally, you can become part of my members only channel. How do you do that? You click on any one of my videos and there's a join button. Okay. So you go to the join button. Here's the join button right there. And for a mere five euros a month, you get access to information I do not share with the public. Okay. Special information. I'm John Gabriel, and this is New Calculus Channel. Till next time, goodbye.